again welcome back to the channel on this video let's talk about something that's been going on far too often particularly in New York City and that is e-bike battery fires what's going on in the past it, within this year alone they're saying there's been more than 100 fires and 13 people have been killed that's an awful lot and I'm not sure exactly what's going on as I have a butterfly flying by my face but uh, how can this be rectified so New York City is going to be spending 25 million dollars to get some charging stations going 25 million bucks and uh, so that people won't have to charge them in their apartments or houses or wherever they're charging their bikes but I'm wondering what's causing the fires so is it the charging if a bike is just sitting there not being charged is it is it okay like is it only the time when it's actually charging that it's getting hot I assume and then just blows up My thinking on this is, I don't know anything about it, but I'm just guessing and just using, trying to use what I think, think like common sense here. Like what about, maybe it's difficult to do, I don't know, but what about having a, a battery charger that once the battery is charged, the charger just automatically shuts off. So the battery cannot you know get hotter or whatever happens um, because the charger is just shutting off so it can't hurt it in any way if that's what it's doing if that's if it's only when it's charging I've never heard a real good explanation as to what's going on with the batteries and why they're causing the fires but uh But if it's that, then why not? Why is it, is it difficult to make one that, a battery charger that is, that can automatically just shut off when the uh, battery is charged? Maybe it's not that simple because if it were, gosh darn it, I think they would do that. You know, I would hope. So anyway, maybe you've got some opinions on this that can leave a, a comment and kind of enlighten us all on some knowledge maybe you have on this that we don't have that would be helpful uh, they say not to charge your bike up overnight when you're sleeping I don't charge mine up overnight I charge mine when I'm home during the day. I'm always there when I'm charging it, but I'm home charging it and I charge it in the house. I have my bikes in the house and I charge them in the house. And I leave the battery, pretty much leave the battery right on the bike. I don't even take the battery off to charge it. I leave it on there. But uh, I wonder what the difference is of overnight. Is it just because you're leaving it beyond the bike battery being charged because like I say if they uh, had one that shuts off we would alleviate that problem and for me I mean I charge my battery or batteries but I don't sit there and babysit the charger I don't watch it every five minutes to see what's going on 
I kind of have an idea as to how long it takes to charge, depending on how much uh, down my battery is. But I don't know for sure. And sometimes you get busy doing other things and aren't paying attention. I mean, you're not going to sit there and stare at your battery charger for six hours, say. I don't know. But I don't know if that's the only reason or the, the sole reason that, and I don't think it is, that batteries are... causing fires. But hopefully we can um, get this under control because uh, I think it affects sales of e-bikes because I, I've had people say to me like, ask me about the, uh, the battery situation and the fires and I don't, I can't give them an answer because I don't know. I don't know anybody that's had that happen. I've not for sure not had it happen. And for some reason I'm hearing it, it comes out of uh, New York a lot. And I'm not saying New York is exclusive. I mean, New York's a huge city, let's face it. One of the largest cities in the world. And they have a high uh, e-bike population there, you know, lots of people with e-bikes. But uh, it doesn't mean we're all immune from it. But it sure would be nice to know exactly what's going on and what's causing it and try to fix that problem. I mean, I, like I said, I have my bikes in the house. Am I crazy? I don't know. I, I keep them right inside. So if you have any, um, anything that you can add to uh, help us out with this topic, Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. That would be greatly appreciated. The thing about the charging stations that they're talking about in New York, about having, putting up uh, charging stations all around the city. Um, the thing I wonder about is, is that just to get a quick charge into your bike enough to get you home or is this you know like it sounds like they want to have you completely charge your bike there well how does that work i mean are you going to leave your bike there for six hours to charge or you know not sure how they're going to do that but uh be nice to be able to charge your bike in 10 minutes then you wouldn't have to wait around long everybody can wait 10 minutes but if you got to wait hours that's not going to be uh, easy to do for a lot of people most people I think just about everybody I don't think anybody's going to want to wait there or is it is it, it going to be a station where you actually like it's like a locker or something and you lock your bike in there while it's charging i don't know or is it going to charge your bike faster anyway it's it's something that i hope they rectify it here we don't want to be scaring all the uh potential new e-bike riders off and we who are already uh, are e-bikers we don't want to have fires nobody wants that so uh, hopefully we can get this rectified
I mean, maybe the fires are happening with batteries that are being tampered with. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.